The thing about me is I'm gonna drink my Long Island iced tea on a Friday night and be lit by myself in my apartment. Enjoy my own energy and my own vibes, honey. what's up babes welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog you guys so i accidentally deleted the intro to this vlog again you guys i'm horrible but i want to come on and say hi to you guys instead of letting the vlog start abruptly so it's gonna start on thursday when i went to pretty little thing with key i'm starting with the outfit check as y'all already know okay so you guys i hope that you enjoy this i thank you guys for rock with me i know i have not been consistent lately but life has been life in okay i love you guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below share it with someone subscribe if you're not subscribed show your girl love and i will see you guys later on this week Mwah. all right y'all so i have on this bodysuit from h&m it's like a corset bodysuit super cute i have this on in a double xl as well so their sizing is like pretty good and i actually stepped into this and pulled it up it's not just like tucked in so i love this it's kind of like a like natural kind of not camel but like just natural kind of nudish tan brown color and then i have on the shell um kind of like pants you know the pants that make that squishy sound <laughs> um these are actually from pretty little thing and they're really cute they have these like tie detail parachute detail um all over the pants so they're super cute and simple i just have one of these platform clogs from miss lola they're kind of like a dupe to the gucci clogs and i wanted to get these first because the gucci ones you know they're like they're like almost 500 dollars, and i want to make sure my feet are gonna fit that they're gonna be like something i actually want to wear so i decided to get these first and i'm obsessed with them which means i'm gonna get the gucci ones first because these aren't the best quality like they keep like i don't know one of them keep kind of like sliding and leaning so it's really weird but y'all that's my outfit for today i'm getting keys about to be here in a minute she just texted me so we're about to leave and i will see y'all at pretty little thing Mwah.
Okay, y'all. So I'm back home in my night shirt. Uh, uh. Y'all, I love night shirts like this. Like it's just a like a grown and sexy like night shirt. I can't tell you where I got it from because it actually used to be my mom's, and she gave me her um little nightgowns like this because she said these too hot for her. Let me tell you all my mom business chat. But um, <laughs> anyways, I just got home a little bit ago from the pretty little thing event. I mean, not event, from the showroom. Um, shout out to my girl, Kat, for inviting me and Kia up there. It's always good vibes. I love pretty little thing. And like I tell y'all, Y'all need to shop Pretty Little Thing. I'm telling you, Pretty Little Thing is the place with the best aesthetic. Like, most of my closet is Pretty Little Thing. Like, it just gives. But I want to show y'all some of the stuff that I got. One of the things that I got, y'all going to have to wait and see because I'm pre-planning for my little birthday trip. I'm not going to tell y'all where I'm going just yet. But just understand, a birthday trip is loading for November. But it's my cute little Pretty Little Thing totes okay and i got some really cute goodies and by the way pretty little thing is size inclusive guys they go up to like a 5x which is like a 30 or a 32 um and it's just fire so i don't even know where to start okay let's start let's start with the handbags because um that's probably like the most exciting thing i have to show you guys right now because the most most exciting thing i'm not going to show y'all until I go on my birthday trip it's gonna be a surprise but you guys stop like when she pulled these out i was like i need they had this in this orange and look how vibrant this orange is and they had it in like a soft pink you guys little bottega like jody bag dupe babes Y'all know this orange is me, honey. When I saw the orange, I was like, ah, the orange. Like, I'm about to put together a cute little fit for her. Something real cute. Y'all already know. A little detail. It's the, it's really the details for me. It's like these little, like, I don't know what these are called. These little things. But it's all in the details, babe. It's all in the details, poo. And then uh, I have this cute little sparkly bag. It's giving, like a jimmy choo kind of dupe which i love so for this bag like i don't go places that are crazy like formal wear like i go to like nice restaurants and dinners and things but it's usually a place where i can wear like a nice top a pair of jeans or a cute dress so with this i would probably wear like a nice blouse this is for like when you're wearing like a nice white blouse a nice pair of jeans some really cute heels and you want to add something with a cute little bag honey oh. and it's a mini so of course you can't put a thing in it but your lip gloss your card your id and some hand sanitizer but these are the nights where like you uber or like have somebody with a purse drive or have a friend with a bigger purse and you put your stuff in her purse and you hold your phone or you put your phone somewhere else. Like make it work to be able to wear the bag. It's so freaking cute. And look at the sparkles, the little crystals on the handle. It's so cute and feminine, you guys. Like this is so gorgeous. And of course I'll link everything for my babes. I wanna, <laughs> you know, stuff up y'all wardrobe with some cute bags and then I got this cute top. This is like an essential, like cute, like everyday top. It's actually a crop top and it is um, like kind of like a cropped curve. Y'all know this is so me. Like with a pair of jeans, with some cargos, like a baggy cargo vibe with some sweats. Like this is my type of top definitely. And if, you know what's weird is the other day I was like, I don't have enough like white tank tops, like just white pure white crop tops not off-white not bone just white and sometimes you just need like a really good white um like tank top like everyday casual type of vibe and then i got this really cute top also something that can go with some jeans or like some slacks to dress up a cute little outfit i just love this like the stretchiness like look it's so stretchy i love pretty looking you guys the arms it looks so good it's like a woven and i love the little like 
it's not a ruffle it's like the way it's kind of like gonna go out at the wrist and a little off the shoulder vibe so cute so feminine you guys so i really want to show y'all this other piece so bad i should have even mentioned it to y'all because i want to show y'all but i also don't i also really want to wait to show y'all because i feel like it'll be more of like a shock value and more of like a when y'all see it because i'm gonna do a photo with it a little photo shoot and i want y'all to see it there listen i'm a creative and i'm about my business i'm about creating things in my head and honestly y'all I'm one of those creatives, like, I don't know if it's a Scorpio thing or just a me thing, but I'm one of those creatives that always have ideas, that are always thinking of things, and I just have a hard time executing them. Like, something inside of me, like, won't let me execute them. I always tell people I could be ten times bigger than what I am right now, like, ten times. Like, you know, if I allowed myself to, like, take my foot off the brake and put my foot heavy on the gas, like, I could you know so i'm like challenging myself come monday i need to start now i need to stop putting in like restraints but monday you know beginning of the week always bring like a beginning to me but like starting monday like i'm gonna get this eating together i'm gonna get back active back taking care of myself i feel like i've just neglected myself and i'm not been giving myself self-love in that way and i'm gonna take the foot off the brake and put it heavy on the gas because i need to bring my full creativity to the front and i feel like i haven't been making content the way i need to be making content and all the ideas i have i just need to like unload them you know i wasn't trying to like go on a little rant right now but i have to go on a little rant right now because y'all already know but it is almost nine o'clock i'm winding down for the night i'm kind of just gonna like chill on the couch and i've been watching love island us you guys are you watching love island us it's so good like zita and tommy i didn't know about him at first at first i was like mm. them eyebrows real thin like i don't know but then i was like they're cute they're so cute like he stayed well i don't want to break anything but okay if you haven't watched it like to where it's current then skip this but he stayed faithful and cost a more like i want to put me in the villa like put me in the villa just so i can hang out with zita and courtney like they're so cute like i love this season of love island us and then i was watching love island uk but that one is off. I'm also watching Beverly Hills. I think I'm gonna catch up on House of Beverly Hills. And then I'm gonna catch up on some vlogs because I know Chelsea posted today. I know Amina posted today. And someone else posted today. I don't know. Gotta to catch up on my own vlogs. I dropped one video this week, which is so bad. But I had a lot going on. I had to go to urgent care for my back, which feels so much better thank god but you know i still have like a little bit of pain it's just like an uh, inconvenience so i just took that as like christine chill a little bit like don't force the videos out because you know if it's forced it's not going to be good so yeah um starting next week i'm gonna be back on my content schedule and getting things out for y'all because i miss you guys i miss my babies and i know y'all miss me too because y'all be hitting me up like christine where the video at? and i'll be like <laughs> I didn't even know y'all mess with me like that. <laughs> I didn't even know y'all check it for me. <laughs> I'm not trying to even be talking about where the video. Someone didn't even be like, um, it's been a minute since you dropped the video. Like, but I also think like YouTube is not pushing my videos right now because I haven't been as consistent as I normally am. And you guys just might not be seeing some uploads or like getting notifications. But make sure y'all turn your notification bells on. And if you need to unsubscribe and subscribe right back then do that as well so it pushes me to like your top you know but i'm gonna get it together y'all i'm gonna try y'all know i try to stick to my upload schedule but life be life sometimes okay i need a minute i need a break good morning y'all it is friday not it's not even morning it's afternoon i don't know why i said morning <sighs> y'all i'm having a rough start to the day like i'm pmsing like crazy and it has me really moody and i feel like i'm taking my moods out on people i look a hot freaking mess my wig is sliding back it needs to be fixed <laughs> i just <laughs> oh, i'm in a dance today 
<laughs> you know that TikTok fiend? Today drained me. Y'all, today has drained me and it's like two o'clock. But I'm doing laundry right now. I just put my clothes in the dryer and then I put in two more loads. I literally am doing four loads of laundry, which goes to show like your girl has been slacking recently. Um, so I'm doing my laundry and I don't know what I'm doing today. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I know that I'm PMSing like a mug. So I need to like love on Christine today. And I feel like I need to go outside and I need to do something. I don't know what that is going to be yet, but I just cannot stay in the house today. It's hot outside. It's a nice day. I just need to go out, whether if it's just a drive or whatever. It's Friday, so it's my night in to spend with myself. So I'll be ordering food, getting drunk. I'm going to get lit. Look at my wig. You're like, girl. Don't judge me. Don't judge me because happy always is like back right now. <laughs> but I'm about to get my stuff together. And I'm gonna pull it together, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna pull it together right right now. Next time y'all see me, I'm either gonna be pulling it together or have pulled it together. Okay, y'all, so first things first, I'm getting myself a little bit together today. Um, I've already retapped my lace, kinda. I have glue all over my little elastic bands, but we'll see how this lace is when I take the band off. I feel like that's that's when you know you know um first off i'm just gonna do my hair i guess i'm gonna spray my hair y'all i swear like i just i just am not in the mood for today but i know that i need to be a little bit productive you know you know when you just need to like get up christine like you ain't gotta do the most but you gotta do something so i'm just gonna spray my hair and normally this is where i just like do a little montage put some music on it over it but i want to talk to y'all because i just feel like i have not been on camera at all this week i've only uploaded one video but i've just been needing like oh my hair all but my nose i've just been needing like a little time you know to myself because i've been your girl been going through it it's so funny i saw this post on Instagram, it was like, well, life just keeps whipping our, you know, A-S-S. -S. And we just, <laughs> a couple of them, one of them said, we just get dressed and go for a drink. And like, we just smile and keep going. And it's just like, it's so true. Like, life really does not, like, hold back. It's just like, chill out, you know? But at the end of the day, one thing about me, I gotta stop saying that. I say one thing about me so much, but one thing about me, I keep going. Like, I just, I have to keep pressing. Like, it's really things to do. There are really bills that need to be paid. I have work that I have to do. I have supporters that I have to put content out for. Like, y'all do not let up on me, and I love that. So, I just sprayed my hair with my little hairspray and then I'm gonna go through it with this Miss Jackie's pillow soft curls and I just put a little of this on my head by the way y'all I don't remember where this wig is from I want to say it's from Ally Pearl is it from Ally Pearl I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, I'll let y'all know. It'll be in the description. But I really like it. I love this hair. It's it's a little different from like my other um, curly unit. My other curly unit is more of a like a kind of like a looser curl I would say or more like a little like tamed. This one is more of like a kinky curl vibe. So if you can see like down on the ends it's like a little kinky it just has like a lot of texture to it i would say that they both have a lot of texture to it but this one is like an actual curly unit i would say my other one that you guys have seen me in is probably more of a deep wave and this one is like an actual like big um curly unit but i just put this miss jackie's all the way through and it really just like helps like texturize the hair and just like condition the hair i stopped mixing the water with um 
what's it called conditioner Ooh. why my face girl with conditioner because it's just like too much product going in my hair you know so i like to just start brushing from the ends and then brush up and see what it's doing to the curl pattern <laughs> now we, who am I make this diet like but um <laughs> I like Puerto Rican no, I'm just kidding but um you know what's so funny that I was telling Key yesterday when we went to Chick-fil-A um I was like tell me why one time I came to Chick-fil-A and the guy that was taking my order told me that I look so much like Megan Thee Stallion and she was like you know what I could see that and I'm like what y'all are seeing because i've heard that more times than you would think that i would hear that i look like megan stallion like i've heard that several times to the point where i'm like well do we favor each other i don't know if it's when i have my hair a certain way like maybe when i have like a long like you know middle part bust down type of situation but i've heard like several times i look like megan stallion I personally don't see it i mean she's gorgeous i'm gorgeous as well we're both brown skin baddies <laughs> she's obviously a stallion i'm kind of like a munchkin <laughs> i'm just kidding but i'm on the shorter side but i'll take it <laughs> i will take that i look like megan the stallion any day i've also gotten um i think her name is amber riley from uh glee and i was like you tried it i'm like i'll be girl something like okay we don't even look i that one i definitely can't see i've also got in lizzo and i'm like you tried it like lizzo is absolutely gorgeous all of these girls are absolutely beautiful stunning but all big girls don't look like <laughs> but all right y'all so hair is done i think i might just go through with like a little bit of oil just to like give it a little bit of like sleek and shine i think i have i thought i had some sleep oh i do hold on i'm gonna go in with this garnier fructis sleek and shine it's this anti-frizz i love this product i used to use it when i was wearing my hair natural and i'm kind of just gonna take like a little bit of that and just rub it in a bit and put it on my my phone go off in the background with my ringtone like who still has a ringtone but i'm gonna put it on the ends of my hair because this is where it tends to get like a little bit more of like that kink um so i'm just gonna make sure it doesn't get frizzy down there and the curls are popping you guys they look really good um okay let's get started on skincare i feel like the skincare is what makes me feel good like it's not the makeup it's not well it's definitely the outfit well it's the makeup it is the makeup what a house where to go but i don't think i'm putting on makeup today i think i'm gonna do my little like no makeup makeup type of vibe but um, I'm going to use Dr. Jenna's Gross, the AHA BHA Daily Cleansing Gel. This is a three-step system. I think I've showed you guys before, but I'm going to start off with this and just cleanse my face. I like to put a couple of pumps on my hand and get really hot water and just cleanse my face. Oh lord, don't drip everywhere. You hey guys, the water in my apartment gets so freaking hot. Okay. We have pipe and hot water. I like to scrub that all over my skin. A lot of y'all ask me about my skin. It's so funny because I never think about myself as like, you know, like having good skin or anything like that. Because I don't have like a crazy like skincare routine i keep my skincare routine just like very simple like some people use like 20 products on their face and everyone's skin is really different you know and, ooh, i got stuff in my eye okay i think i'm good everyone's skin is really different everyone's skin requires different things my skin just does not require that much and I think a lot of that might be genetics because my mom and my dad, honestly, and like really my aunts, uncles, everyone's, no one has like skin issues. Everyone's skin has always been just like 
really clear and I don't think everyone like does the most like honestly you guys sometimes I feel like depending on like different like ailments we may have different like conditions or you know genetics of course when it comes to like skin and acne I'm not here on my face girl get away um but sometimes I feel like we oversaturate our skin with things you know what I mean like sometimes I think we overdo it to where like our skin needs that now and when I think back on my mom's skin carotene on my grandma's skincare scene on us and like they don't be doing all this extra stuff <laughs> you know what I mean like my mom would ask me about a product now like as she's aging a little bit or getting older but she ain't even really aging okay my mom would look good one thing about it in her 60s honey look like she in her 50s but um they really just had like really simple skincare routines and I'm just gonna splash like a little hot water on my face just to cleanse and then the trick let me show y'all the trick hold on let me dry my face a bit but the trick really is to go back in with cold water because that cold water is going to tighten that skin tighten that face on up okay so i like to go back and just like splash my face with some cold water and just like rub just like that it helps reduce like wrinkles and things like that that's why a lot of people put like their skincare and skincare tools like in a refrigerator or in a freezer stuff like that um next i am going to use these dr dennis gross ultra gentle daily peel and the first one is the exfoliant and smooth and the second one is the anti-aging neutralizer so i'm going to use both of these i have been using this system probably for the last couple of weeks and i love it normally i do use oh no my baby hair is coming out normally hold on Ooh. normally i use like tula the whole tula system because they sent me that system like a couple months ago and i've been obsessed with it i think it's done really great for my skin but i also really like this and people rave about dr dennis gross honey so i was like let me try and kind of just do this all the way around your skin hopefully i do this right you know i also feel like i have one of those skin types that like i don't easily get irritated with things so like most skincare you know i can try and you know i just don't have that big of an issue with it but i just feel like you know think about your mom's skincare routine you know your grannies your aunts you know whatever they just weren't using things like they were just using like a dove beauty bar like what a dove beauty bar and a good moisturizer and that's all they were doing for their skin i don't even know if like back in the day all of these like serums and hyaluronic acid and everything was even like a thing you know what i mean and it could be a thing where like maybe we need more now because our air is a little different <laughs> you know what i mean like our air quality is just like not the same or like you know things just aren't the same as they were back in the day so maybe we need a little bit more but next i'm going in with this tula rose glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm I love this especially like if you've been crying the night before or you just have puppy eyes um, and need to brighten your eyes this works really well I think this is a product that could go in like a refrigerator or something especially because it's like supposed to cool your eyes and all of that um but yeah like I just feel like their skincare routines were very little <laughs> very simple very minimal and that's like my favorite type a skincare routine no shade to anyone that you know spends however much on their skincare routine i just like a simple one you know just really good um products and just a couple of them like three to five that's what i like next i'm gonna go in with this elf super tone um with vitamin c vitamin c is amazing for your skin so any type of vitamin c you guys you can get i had a bottle 
that I needed to reorder and I kept the bottle so I could remember what brand it was but it's this vitamin C that Target sells the brand I'll put up a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about but um vitamin C is a must in my skincare routine it really just like brightens your face and it makes you look nice and refreshed so you can get like a good like vitamin c toner or just like a pure it's like vitamin c serum i definitely recommend i'll post it you know what it might be in my amazon storefront so i'll post a link to my storefront so you guys can pick that up and then next i'm just gonna go in with this tula protect and glow daily sunscreen gel is spf 30 again y'all want to make sure you have spf in your skincare routine especially because i'm not going to wear makeup today i need to make sure that my spf is on my face because sometimes like foundation will have spf in it or you know a primer you just want something something very much something <laughs> that has spf in it so put that on my face and it doesn't leave like a cast or anything it actually leaves my skin looking like super glowy we love that and then last but definitely not least i'm going in with the dr dennis gross um daily moisturizer it looks like that again this is a three-step system that he has on his website so i'll leave the links for you guys so you can check that out as well this is another one that i feel like leaves my skin really glowy and moisturized boom glowy period and then okay that's not the last step but then we have to come on girl we have to moisturize our lips <laughs> my hands are slippery from the lotion but this is the mario badescu lip balm which is one of my faves we love mario okay and we're just gonna put that on my lips Especially because my lips have been super dry recently. Sometimes you just gotta moisturize, do a lip mask, and moisturize a little bit more than just like lip gloss. But I put that on our lips, and that's it for skincare. I think did I miss a step? I think that's it for skincare for right now. So next, I think I'm just gonna do like some natural makeup. I don't even know if I'm gonna do makeup. Maybe I'll just do like my brows and put on like a little brush and then get dressed and then i don't know i'm gonna talk about bell today <laughs> all right babe so i just finished my laundry and i'm getting ready to leave the house first things first baby i gotta take my tripod better balance okay we good um I think I do kind of like my makeup no makeup look. I added a little like bronzer to my eyelids because my eyelids always just need like a little bit of color. But I'm about to take my goalie nutrition supplements. I'm about to take energy because I need her today. You guys, I'm obsessed with these. Like you guys have to try these. I will leave them a link down below. You can get them from Amazon. You can get them from Goalie's website. I think they sell inside of stores too. I'm not sure, but I have a ton. Like I have their entire product line. So like as I go through my days, I'll show you guys which ones I take. I usually take all of them like a couple times a day, but I like start in the morning and kind of end at night. So I'm about to just take one. Do I take one or two of these? Okay, I'm going to take one of my energy tablets. I thought I took them earlier, but I think I took Calm earlier. Because I also have these Calm ones too, which I feel like give me kind of like the same effect as taking CBD. And I'm just like too calm right now, but I need to be energetic. Okay, I need energy. So I got the door and run my little errand. I have one errand to run. I'm being so dramatic. But I'm about to take this. And it's literally like a little Snickers. Hold on, I'm going to bite it so you guys can see it's like a little Snickers vibe. Probably like more like a Milky Way. Mm. It's like having a little chocolate candy, you know? It's supposed to give me a little bit of energy, honey. And you know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and take my ACV, my apple cider vinegar. Especially if y'all trying to get that stomach riding type like I am gummy so they kind of like stick together sometimes but um i have a really hard time just taking apple cider vinegar like i just do it's so gross so i just take it in these little gummies you take 
one to two gummies up to three times daily. I typically do it twice because I just forget. I can't remember three times, but they're a little sour, but they're good. So I'm going to take two right now. And then, you know what? I didn't take these this morning. Let me just go ahead. Chill. Let me go ahead and take all of them. Okay. I need to do my triple action immune gummies. As these. Kind of beaten down. Oh! I have two that landed right here. Oh, so you take two of these once a day. Good. Oh, I'll take these again. Mm. Oh. Oh, look. Those are a little tart. Most of these are really good, though. I'm going to take my super fruit. You do two of these, I think, twice a day. Yeah, two. Twice a day. One. Two. Yum. It's like fruit snacks. Then I'm going to do my super greens. I think this is the last one I'm going to do right now. Because I'm tired. Do two of these, I think, twice a day as well. Yeah, two twice daily. They're green. These are the ones that I'm like, Ugh. they're not nasty, but they're like, oh, it's super green. So like, what do you expect? You know? So, with my vitamins, and then I take like a women's multi or one of these multivitamins. But I think I've done, I did this one earlier today, so I'm not going to do it again right now. Um, but yeah, those are my vitamins. So, so grab my keys, grab my phone. Oh, Lord, not my keys. Grab y'all and let's go. I only have to go to Best Buy to pick up another external hard drive. I lost my external hard drive and it is wearing on my laptop. Like, you guys trying to give vlogs up every day is like the most stressful thing. So, I have to go to Best Buy. I already ordered it. So, I just have to do like a curbside. And then that's pretty much it. I go to the liquor store because it's Friday and I deserve. So. <laughs> that's pretty much it just be nice to like get out the house you know a little vibe it's so good 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 i put the new fudges on your jeans i tell it to the body bottoms it's gonna be cool i'm like this you I just got to Best Buy to pick up my order. So let's find the, the button to let them know that I'm here. Uh, it's not the right one. Ciao, Best Buy. Okay. They were taking forever to bring my order out to, like, girl, I have no condition to go inside today. I look crazy. And I don't have a mask, so I'm not going inside today. But okay, y'all. Let me get my order because my battery's about to die. So I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all. I'm literally watching Kyra and I'm so emotional right now. I'm like, ew. <sighs> ew. <laughs> I'm like, Kyra, don't have me start crying because I've already been through this this week. Like, <laughs> I've already, you know. But she was just talking about how, like, um one of her fans like made a tiktok um just talking about like being aesthetically pleasing and showing her like her and Aaliyah and you know how they've inspired her and just like you know they felt like they couldn't make content because wherever they were living or whatever they were doing it was just like not aesthetically pleasing and Kyra kind of talks about her journey through that and just like her basis was just like make the content <laughs> like no matter where you are no matter where you live no matter what you're doing and I'm gonna be honest with y'all like recently baby we're about to get into it real quick so let me open up you already know it's Friday night okay Friday night vibes with Chrissy my long island from Cutwater y'all tell Cutwater to sponsor me tell them to sponsor ooh, tell them to sponsor your girl because one thing about me is I'm gonna drink my cut water 
my Long Island iced tea on a Friday night and be lit by myself in my apartment. Enjoy my own energy and my own vibes, honey. Mm. One thing about it, I tell every woman, like, you need to live by yourself at least one point in your life. I don't care if you're in a relationship or what. Like, you need to live by yourself in those crucial years of your 20s. Like, I would say anywhere from, like, 24 to, like, 27 to 28. Like, those are really crucial years like maybe even into 30 like unless you're married like live by yourself do what you have to do to live by yourself I also recommend being single at a po certain point of your life because and if you're not single then live by yourself because you get to like have moments where no one's around and you get to hear your own thoughts you get to know yourself especially you don't I feel like as women as people in general but definitely as women I did not know myself until I was 25 and now in 26. I feel like I've been learning myself. And it's all come from like living on my own. Like every girl that has had the chance to live her own says the same thing. Like I, being by yourself is a whole different situation. You get to hear your own thoughts. You get to be like, do I really like this man? Do I really like this dude? Like when you really get to like be by yourself and think about it, like you can make decisions for yourself like a lot easier because you don't only want to hear, baby. Ain't nobody else here to make that decision for you. Like living on your own is like the best thing and learning how to be in your own space and enjoy your own company. Like Friday night, unless I'm babysitting for my sister, Whoops, excuse me, it's a babysitting for my sister or have planned something. I reserve this night for Chrissy, okay? This is my night. This is my freaking night, okay? And I sip. And I get lit. And I order myself dinner from wherever. Postmate. And yeah, I just have a good old time by myself. But um, like I was saying, like watching the whole Kyra video, like she was so emotional. I was like, Kyra, baby, not you. Um, but, you know, as creators, I do think that we get emotional because it's hard. Like I'm even on myself sometimes, like when it comes to creating content, like Christine, you're not doing enough. Like Christine, your house is not aesthetic enough. Like I have been changing so many things out of my house. Like uh, I'm like so over my dining room table. I'm like, it's just not like aesthetic enough. It's not good enough. And because we're seeing other people like do these things. And I think it's important to understand that these people that were watching like Kyra, like Aaliyah, like they have started somewhere. Everyone starts somewhere. Even I'm not even close to where I know my potential will have me, but I was not always here. Like, that's what I need y'all to understand. Like, I wasn't even always here. I started doing YouTube at my parents' house, in my bedroom. If y'all, are any of y'all old OGs, like, comment down below. Do y'all remember my purple bedroom with the lavender walls and my gray bed? Okay, with the blinds behind me. Like, the shutters, actually. Like, that was my start and my beginning. And I said, I'm going to do this. And then from my bedroom, I made a little stood up setup studio when I started making a little money in my dad's office. And do y'all remember that with a little black and white Ikea uh, thing behind me with the yellow couch and the colorful rug and I was doing trial hauls and talks and all type of stuff in there. Do y'all remember that? And then it went into I'm making a little more money. So I moved out with one of my really good friends. We got an apartment together and I was still filming in my room, sometimes in the living room because it's our shared space and we were both working at home. So, you know, I want to be respectful. And that was like a little come up from me. Do y'all remember that? And now I made a little bit more money from just making the content. And now I'm here in this space, which I love, which is more me. And I have my beautiful white couch. <laughs> I have all these things. And you know, when I watched that part of her video, it really humbled me because I'm like, as much as I am a person that is a, okay, I accomplished this, what's next? Okay, I accomplished this, what's next? I don't sit in it. I don't allow myself to sit and enjoy it. 
because I'm always thinking, let's get it, let's get it, what's next? Because I know what the bigger goal is, but create the freaking content where you are. God has you where you are for a reason. Create it where you are. I'm gonna create as much content as I possibly can in this space. Do I think I'm kind of growing out of my apartment that I'm in right now? Yes, and will I be looking for something else at the end of my lease? Yes, but I've spent, this is my second year here. I've been in this place for two years by myself and I love it. And I think I've done really well. And you know, it's 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 my aesthetic enough, but your aesthetic will increase the more you put out and the more money you make. Like, don't rush it. Like, I hate seeing people rush it. Like, your time will really come. Like, you won't be making the same amount. If you work hard and really put your all into it, you won't be making the same amount of money now as you'll be making in a year. I won't be making the same amount of money now that I would make in a year when I want to like upgrade my space or I want to move or you know you see a different vibe for me like everyone's going to progress everyone's going to elevate but you have in order to do that you got to work with what you got right now okay and I am an advocate on spending money makes money so whatever you have to do to make where you are right now something and look cute if you're trying to be an influencer do a try on hauls go to the store buy them clothes and then return them when you're done like if that's what you need to do to get it out then do that you know what i mean whatever your content is do what you have to do to get it done if you want to make tiktoks making cocktails go to freaking marshall's or ross you know if you're trying to do it on a budget ikea buy some aesthetic looking glasses they have these super cute wine glasses at ikea go to freaking ikea that's where i'm going like tomorrow or next week because i want to do my bar but go to ikea get some bomb glasses that's where all the girlies get their glasses and stuff from get a bar set like do a setup get a tripod off of amazon i'll leave my amazon storefront in the um description get a cute little light and do your content you want to do makeup do film yourself while you're doing your makeup like you know be the content and i was just telling key earlier today i was like i feel like i could be a better influencer like i feel like there's so many things i don't do and that i miss out on because i'm anxious because like you know like like i was telling you earlier it's time for me to let my foot off the brake and push it on gas because i'm a creative i always have been i'm telling you like my mom used to watch me <laughs> they used to get on me my parents used to get on me but they used to watch me like in church instead of listening to the sermon when i was a kid i was sketching designs <laughs> in a notebook like I went to school for this like I I have so many just things that all night that's why I don't sleep well just all night my brain just goes and goes and goes and goes and so many video ideas and concepts and all these things that I want to do and something inside of me um just kind of stops me from executing it and like I said I will be in therapy before the end of the year so I can figure all that out <laughs> but um yeah like as soon as I figure out and as soon as I like really start doing what I want to do I know things will elevate so y'all do what you want to do now okay execute your ideas now because at the end of the day somebody else is going to have an idea and they're going to do it someone with that attitude going to do it and I'm preaching to myself with this like starting Monday when y'all see this vlog all gas no breaks if you see Chrissy doing things understand that's that and click the links and support your girl and comment and share and do all of that oh I'm so proud of me for getting through that <laughs> for getting ow I gotta adjust my leg Ugh. ow okay I'm so proud of me from getting through that talk with you guys without crying like oh gross but I have a bunch of PR packages I'm lying. It's not a bunch. It's like four. I have another one I keep meaning to show y'all and I don't know where I put it. It's my Fashion Nova. It's not Fashion Nova, but it's Nova Beauty. And they sent me like a hundred freaking things of lipstick and lip gloss and lip liners. It's like crazy. But let's open some PR. This first one is from Kiss. Okay. Kiss bring the salon at home and you know i love a little kiss honey you know i love a lash and i love glue let's see what we got okay 
lash masterpiece one of a kind lash luxe lash Ooh, i think it's lashes have this little card right here that was in the box and then cute little sorry i just ripped it open a little tissue paper don't you ever miss like old youtube when the girls used to just do like pr unboxings and they have a huge tower like i excuse me i lived lived for those videos but oh guys they sent me lashes oh chill oh stop cute lashes okay so these first ones are the lash couture masterpiece one of a kind luxe lash and most mink like these are hand woven faux mink lashes these are gorge this is definitely my type of lash these are so cute and then these are new too then they sent me the what style are these these are some more mink lashes i'm trying to see if they have like a style on them oh hot hot couture these these are cute these are a little bit more dramatic maybe like a night lash you know when you're going to dinner it's dark you know and then these oh these are pretty these are avant-garde honey oh come on with the names these are gorgeous as well i love all three of these i love when brands send me like good lashes that i want to wear you know and then what is these honey so this is a mirror because I could always use a good little handheld mirror, honey. It is, I think. Yes. Yes, it's a mirror. It's a little kiss mirror. So cute. I love mirrors. For my purse, I could put like a mirror in like every little bag chat when i tell you that mirror, i don't know why i'm trying to put it back in here mirrors are necessary okay this is lash glue and clear i actually use this now and i love this lash glue this is my favorite lash glue i've been using this for about a month but this says new maybe i'm using a different kind but it looks like this super strong hole it really is like the strongest freaking hole i love this lash glue i'll link all this down below for y'all too if you're wondering because i love my kiss lash glue and then they have the lash glue in black as well i will say i'm not good enough at putting on my lashes to use black lash glue because i don't wear um liner on my lids however I know that black lash glue holds okay holds and i be needing my lashes sometimes some nights I need, <laughs> I need you to hold on but this clear adhesive holds really well and you can mess it up and you know mess it up as many times as you want to because it dries clear but we're definitely going to try out that black lash and i need to leave everything i don't know what my leg is falling asleep guys i need to leave everything um cute in the box so I can do a little Instagram thing. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is my set that I bought from Revolve. Okay, Remy dropped a collection with a Revolve. And I was like, let me support. So I got the green set. I don't know if you guys saw. Because, Alyssa, was the collection like everything? No. However... I'm a big believer in supporting things so that more things can come from it, if you get what I mean. Revolve has never, now don't mark my words, but I believe this is like the first size inclusive collection that they've ever had. Revolve do not be having plus size. And for a plus size woman to have a collection with Revolve, I was like, that's dope. And to go up to a four or five X, I was like, that that's real cool you know i'll try this one for you guys i don't know if i'm gonna keep it or not but we'll see um <laughs> that's a crazy please uh but i was like you know what i'm gonna support it even though it's not like it's nothing crazy like it's not the dopest thing but i decided to support it because i want them to be like oh the plus size girls you know they went crazy 
for this drop like let's give this opportunity to more plus size influencers as well hopefully other brands will see that revolve is doing this and follow suit <coughs> zara and aritzia all y'all because i'm gonna shop at zara like Zara will get all my money for real but you know we want brands to see that plus size women like are buying y'all stuff like extend your sizing I don't like I what is so hard about it like I get it but like it's 2022 I don't get it y'all should have been y'all should have been working on it and the product development team like you're slacking okay I don't know what this is oh I know what this is okay this is from Red Dog I have a collab with him that I need to finish up. It was like a collab across like three months. So that's just my orders. I'm not going to show y'all that because y'all got to tune in to TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok at I am Chrissy B Styles. Tune into my TikTok and Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, baby, what are y'all doing? Follow me on Instagram at Chrissy B Styles. And then this box. I think I know where this is from. Not me getting that little PR from Miss Dove, honey. Oop. Cause who do I really think I am? Okay, what is it like? Dove, but welcome to Dove Unfiltered community where Dove celebrates their most authentic self. It pays to be yourself and cry on camera. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but shout out to you, Dove. Thank you for sending me some tunes. Um, your girl, I got added to the PR list. Love that. Um, <laughs> but this is how the package looks. Very cute um they sent me their dove beauty bars oh they have all their little cards dove unfiltered do you guys use dove beauty bars because i do i actually have a whole collection of them under my sink and my little organizers because i am obsessed with them this is my favorite the shea butter one so they sent me the shea butter they sent me the original and they sent me the anti-stress i didn't know they had this one i've never tried this so i'm definitely going to be trying this probably tonight because your girl is stressed out <laughs> and they sent me the sensitive skin beauty bar so cute this is really nice um thank you duff thank you duff thank you girl i love y'all duff is a staple y'all duff is a staple oh no <laughs> you know what's so funny on my um vision board i had that i wanted to collab with a big skincare brand and i know that this isn't a collab but i'm on the pr list which means a collab is not far away which means they send me pr because they want me to make a little content and then we gonna make a little content and we gonna see how they like that little content and then we gonna we gonna finesse our way to collab i'm gonna let my managers take care of that um yeah that's a pr right now until i get up and figure out what i did with that um fashion note package um I'm also gonna order something for dinner and then I think I'm gonna watch um Bohemian Rhapsody because that's my favorite movie. That's one of my favorite movies. That's not a comedy. My favorite type of movies are comedies because I love to laugh. But I love Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't know what it is. I love the I love a musical. I would watch. I would watch. I always forget the title of that movie, the one with Gaga. And what's his name? I wanna do That song. I mean that movie. In the shell In the shell In the shell Maybe I will. But I also feel like that movie makes me cry at the end. I don't wanna cry tonight. So I've been depressed all week. I'm just gonna watch behavior i know my neighbors be like chill <laughs> girl but i think i'm gonna watch bohemian rhapsody or the devil is prada or the devil is prada or step brothers you think we will fare all in it 
I watched Daddy's Home last week. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. <laughs> okay, babes. So, it is Saturday. And... Bijan is coming over today. She's never been to my house. So, you know, when someone comes to my house for the first time or whenever I'm like hosting, y'all know I'm trying to step into my hosting, you know, era, grown girl era. Um, I like to make it all cute for them all to cook. I have a food to be prepared when they get here. Like, I'm that friend. So, today I'm doing tacos. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a taco shakuri board but i'm gonna set it up all cute on a little platter have everything out on my little coffee table i like to eat in my living room area at the coffee table i do have like a eating area table but it's cozier to eat in there and stuff um but however i just got back from costco because not costco girl target i got back from target i got this cute little serving board because i'm gonna do like a little bit of like a fruit charcuterie not like a big charcuterie but i'm just gonna put some fruit out okay dang that's how funny i gotta read though i'm gonna put some little fruit out on this little cutting board i thought that'd be really cute i have pineapples mangoes and blackberries i'm making tacos i'll have chips and dip and i totally forgot about dessert but i might oral i might order some churros and then i have some on the rocks drinks she's bringing wine as well and then i have perrier um as well so um i literally forgot to get taco seasoning like the taco seasoning packets so i'm just gonna make my own i have all my seasons out i've never done this y'all i listen i'm trying I'm, I'm learning things as we go I believe that all of your dreams are the reaction. You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion. You took my heart, all my sleep, but that career. You mistaken my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had. Something that you never seen. Something that you never been. Mm -hmm. But I wake up and then nothing's wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. work. You see me do me da 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 me da 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 Y'all, I am lit. Them on the rocks. Bijan just voice fashioned me like, girl, I am lit off them on the rocks. And I was like, same, sis, same. And I just kind of like topped them off. I just kind of finished them off because there wasn't a lot left in either one. So I was like, it's either put them in the fridge or just chop them off. I was like, I'm going to chop them off Saturday night. Um, <laughs> but I'm lit. Like... Oh my god, no, I'm just kidding. I'm lit, y'all. I'm lit. I feel like I be letting y'all see too much of me. Like, I should not let you guys see my, like me at this time. Like, <laughs> category bad. I'm the bar and superstar with with like how many of you guys because i was singing this while bijan was at the house we were talking about this because we were on facetime with sienna 
we were talking about the album it was just like it's amazing and like literally in my head it's two it's either the one that's like oh it's so good 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 or it's category bad b i'm the bar alien superstar Whip, whip, I'm too classy for this world. So forever, I'm that girl. I'm not even in my mm, me. Uh, like, Beyonce gets it. She gets me. She understands me. Oh, let me. <laughs> that candle has been burning all day. Go to sleep, candle. Hush, hush. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed because those on the rocks, you guys, comment down below. Let me eat and talk with me. Comment down below if you've ever had it on the rocks. I'm shocked. I didn't expect what I expected. And we share them. It's not like we each drank a whole one. So I had a margarita one and we had a cosmetolo. Co cosmetolo. <laughs> Cosmopolitan. Okay. Because, girl, what we not going to do is be lit like this. Um, but, yeah. And you guys, the seasoning that I mix together. To make taco Caesar, chef's kiss. It was delicious. Delicious. I ended up buying some chicken tacos as well. I just post made them because Bijan doesn't eat beef. Um, so I had some chicken tacos. I didn't show you guys, but yeah. I'm too classy for this world. Forever, I'm the girl. That's Beyonce, girl. She literally said, Christine, I'm going to write a song for you. Unique. Unique category. Sexy. I'm the bar. <laughs> Alien superstar. Wit, wit, like what? For me. For moi. For she, for her, for Chrissy. I told you all, Beyonce makes songs for black women and the gays. And gay men. Okay? And I stand for both. <laughs> whip, whip. <laughs> wow. You know where I see myself? Like for Summer Renaissance, the ones like, oh. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. Um, she samples a lot from Donna Summers, which I stand for. But um, I see myself at Everyday People or in the club. If y'all wanna meet me, come to a day party if you live in LA. Um, we're in a club and I'm in a club. I'm not a club girl but somewhere where I can dance, big curly hair, beautiful outfit, and I'm just vibing. And of course, I'm a little lit, and I'm vibing with the girls. I'm like, oh, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. Like, oh, oh. Category, bad, I'm the bar. Alien superstar. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even gonna put this in the vlog, you guys. Watch me put this in the vlogs. As I'm saying, I'm not gonna put this in the vlog. 